Reyna will be proud of me. I document my entire exploration of the ruins, even though this stupid journal keeps falling apart, and I found the Dwemer Vault. But without Reynor's device, how will I avoid the construct to find the key? Danger's only fun to boast about later. Probably is. Oh, look at that, she actually cleared everything. It's a tree here. This is kinda cool, actually. Look at this. Hello! Damn! My power strikes hit hard. Damn! That is awesome. This place looks really this thing looks really cool. You just a tree in the middle of a Dwemer ruin with an opening in, out in the, out there. That's kinda cool actually. I like that. Looks very aesthetical. Hello! Oh, now we good. Take all this. I'm getting so much key or left and right. I hope my inventory can handle it. <laughs> That's gonna be a whole other story. Let's see, let's walk around this area here, look for the journals. There's another journal over here, let's go and read it. Oh, this isn't good. Not good at all. The construct seems to know I'm here and they keep looking for me. Was my um, was my useless brother when I really need him? I hope someone comes looking for me soon. I can't get out of here without attracting what, uh, more constructs. Now I'm hungry. This is bad. This is worse than when Reynor built a thing that turned all the clothes into town invisible for a day and a half. Vivek, was Eldor Aram mad about that? <laughs> Let's go check this out. Looks like the brother is quite crafty making clothes invisible. <laughs> lock and a dormer mechanism is far more complex than any I've dealt with before. All my lockpicks have snapped. Note to self, find more dormer metal I can use to craft new lockpicks. Can I connect? Can, can you actually use dormer metal to craft lockpicks? Because I would love to do that, I would love to have more lockpicks. <laughs> Note to Raynor, stop letting me get myself into these predicaments. Oh, come on, Raynor. Why, why are you putting your poor sister out in danger here, huh? Ice tunnels, huh? So we can't go through here. Let's check for more journals, I kind of want to see if we can find all of them. They are really interesting, I really like them. There we go. Had a few too many close calls, trying to salvage some metal to make new lockpicks. I'm not terribly interested in getting impaled on a spike. And every time I stop to drag around for a key, the constructs swarm after me. I need to invent something protective when I manage to get out of here. Maybe some kind of special boots or a hat. A hat could work. Looks like there's a journal over there, I want to get to it. Hey, look guys! Nice. Let's go check on this journal. Is this a journal? No. This is it. Oh, no. I just a book, huh? Does it tell me anything? No, it doesn't. I wonder if you can find the other journals around here. I'm gonna check that side real quick. I don't know if there are gonna be more journals or not that way, but I kind of want to check just in case for myself personally. See if I can find anything. Because I kind of like finding these journals. They tell a story. Nope, nothing around here. We're gonna go ahead and come back to the main door then. Go through that hallway over there. Let's see if we can enter that way. See if we can look for the sister. I wonder where she's at. Oh. Hello. There she is. Hey. Hi there. It's great to see someone who isn't made of metal and trying to chop me to bits. Are you just exploring? I hate to tell you, but we were here first. But good job getting this far without one of Raynor's crazy devices. Your brother sent me to find you. Raynor sent you? Well, that was nice of him, since it's his fault I'm stuck down here. His stupid invisibility device stopped working, and now the constructs won't stop chasing me. Anyway, you have my thanks. No problem. Wow, we're getting gear left and right. I realized this... <laughs> we'd be getting, like, armor left and right. For all kinds of armor. That's kind of cool. Our research points to a treasure trove of lore buried in these ruins. I even found one of the lore vaults. It had a Dwemer memory device and everything. But the area is buried in snow and swarming with constructs. Also, we need a key. That sounds kind of difficult. That's why I'm coming with you, silly. I won't let anything happen to you. Promise. Besides, I have the shovel. Anyway, you keep the constructs away from me and I'll dig for the key. 
How's that sound? I thought she was gonna use a shovel for a weapon. Nope, she's gonna <laughs> use me as a bodyguard and then she's gonna be the one digging. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Great, let's go. I'll stick close if you don't mind. You look like you can handle that weapon you're carrying and I'd rather not get eaten by a construct. If we get separated, I'll meet you back here. Don't know if construct eat people, but okay. I'm totally down for that. Let's go and see if we can look for whatever we need to find here. Page 33. Oh, there we go. There's another page here. Been reading The Art of Love and Swordplay by the Bard Fiocchi. I don't get it. Why is this stupid book so popular? I'm pretty sure half of the things described aren't even possible or legal. Oh, wait a minute. This one sounds kind of interesting. Alright. So, what do we got to look for in this place? I guess we got to keep going through the ice tunnels. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, Kirith, yeah, just stay down or follow me. We're gonna see if we can get through this area without attracting too much attention on us. There we go. Oh, now what am I meant to do? There we go. Let's go through the ice tunnels and look for that key over there. Over that, maybe. I'm gonna have one open out just in case. Someone took down a construct. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Guess we gotta go around here for a little bit. See if we can look for the key. I wonder what constitutes for her to dig somewhere. I guess we'll just find like a a, a pile of snow or something. Something over there. There's a construct. Anything down here? Oh, more to warm with spiders. Wait, over there. Just broken glass shards. They're Where'd everywhere in here. Where'd you go? Oh! I'm not sure what she did. I think she just went through the walls or something. <laughs> Alright. Got Dwarven Centurion here. I guess we gotta keep going through the place around here, just running around, she'll find some spots to dig up. Alright, let's go ahead and continue battling the constructs whenever we can. Hello! Hey little guys! down the pipe. Let's keep going Wait, through here. Over there. No key here, but this glass looks like a crystal lens. Alright. Not sure, but I guess we'll have to find out as we go through here. Hi! Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> Nice. I like how the animations look. Like as soon as we do the final slash, the uh, the centurion just kind of like falls over. You can kind of tell he's gonna fall to the side. It just looks visually really cool. Like the battles and everything. Okay, we got a couple more centurions. We got some spiders here. There you go. It's a lot easier using sword and shield against the enemies. Just makes it a lot easier and simpler for me. There we go. Come on. There you go. They should 
find anything? Come on, we need to find a couple more places. I guess I just gotta fight everything around here, don't I? <laughs> Wait, over there. Finally, good. <laughs> nice. So what do we gotta go to? We gotta go all the way down there, huh? Well, let's hope we don't have to fight any more Centurions. As much as I do enjoy battling them, I feel like if we take on two, we might just die there. I don't believe I could handle two. Oh, I can handle one, at least. That's the least I can do. Let me go ahead and see if I can try doing this. Let's try to freeze him, right? So cutting him is gonna be pointless. Okay, then. Somebody who's taken on enemies that are higher level than them, like this, is like level 37 enemies, and we're just only level 33. I think we're doing really well here. Seriously, surprisingly well. So where's this vault at? Oh, See it must that? be here. That's a Dwemer memory device. I've seen them before, but never one that was intact. All right, let me check this here. Self research journal. Assuming, oh, I'm waiting for the text to disappear. Assuming I'm interpreting these scrolls correctly, this orb, when magically charged, retains images within its cloudy depths. The scrolls depict it containing information of two specific topics, the use of Dwemer's soul gem and maps of Dwemer installations. Obviously, the mage scholars will want the information about the soul gems, but the maps are more interesting to me. As yet earn, er, earthened, earthed? Unearthed Dwemer ruins may contain much more valuable knowledge, although the mages would balk at passing on practical information that can be used right now. There's a lecture on the relative value of birds in the hand in my immediate future. Imprinting an orb appears simple. I just need to hold one near the uh, one of these Dwemer memory devices, this one with the crystals, and the energy will rush into it, along with the associated information. But I need to find an orb to copy the information too, and that's more of an issue. All I found are glass shards, and a few intact orbs I found a few intact orbs I found have been smashed into in altercations with the constructs. They seem to want to destroy the orbs rather than let me have one. Wait a moment. Something's happening. Why the vault doors clothing? Closing. I'm estimating on on the time. It's probably the next day by now. The vault doors have closed behind me and are quite thoroughly locked. I have to come up with a different way to escape. I did find an intact orb in a sack here. But I'm going to wait to use it until I'm sure I can get out of here. Well, does we get one? Oh, we do get one. Is it in here? From a vault sack. No, that's not it. Is this it? No, that's not it. They keep breaking. Uh. Here? Nope. Damn it, they keep breaking on me. <laughs> oh, we got a couple more over here as well. Okay, good. This one didn't break. I hoped I'd find you two down here. I repaired the lift. What did you find? Raymo, this device fills up glass orbs with old lore, like filling a decanter with fine wine. A memory device? You found one that works? It's intact, but we need a glass orb to see if it actually works. Did you figure out what kind of lore the device contains? I see two important bits of lore. One explains how Dwemer used soul gems to power their constructs. The other contains a map of Dwemer ruins across Tamriel. Soul gems? That knowledge would open a lot of doors for us. A lot of doors. But think about what we can do with those maps. Access to every ruin. Those are the doors we should be opening. Are you suggesting that we become common treasure hunters? Well, think how famous we'll become if we bring both bits of lore to the Mage's Guild. 
I don't think we can, brother. I think there's only enough power in this device to make one imprinting. But we've worked so hard to get them to listen to us. This is our chance, sister. I'm not sure, but our friend here has found an orb we can use. Hey, what do you think we should do? Oh god, no. You gotta be kidding me. Support Kirith or support Raynor? Well, first we gotta listen, hear them out, right? We gotta hear them out. Let's hear our Kirith on this matter. What do you think? We've only got the one orb you found. What do you want to do with the orb? If I knew the location of every Dwemer ruin, I could explore places no one has seen since the Dwemer were actually alive and kicking. That would be amazing. Anyone can be a scholar, but I could visit places no one alive has ever seen. Let me talk to Raynor before I make a decision. What do you think? We've... Okay, talk to Raynor now. What do you think? Kirith trusts you, so I do too. What do you want to do with the orb? We've been working to get recognized for years. Up until now, our discoveries have been curiosities, not important findings. Information on how the Dwemer use soul gems in their constructs, though? No one could ignore that kind of finding. Okay, we have to make a choice between those two. Oh, this is a really difficult choice, and there's no like morality behind it. It's just. One person wants to do one thing, the other person wants to do the other. While both have worked together to become like renowned in academical studies, the brother still believes that it should be more important to present the study so both can become, you know, rena renowned professors or, you know, renowned within the Mages Guild as scholars. And as scholars that would have, you know, special privileges and probably would give private funding or specific funding for any projects or resources that they do personally with supplies and people, while Kirith believes that they should, uh, well personally it's kind of a selfish one that she got, a selfish curiosity of exploring these things by themselves, and Dwarven Ruins are dangerous, I mean she was, was not able to get that far without us protecting her, and we were only able to do it because of the weapons and abilities that we have. I feel like it would be best to go with Raynor, because in the long run, they could possibly, like, when they become scholars, they could present other findings and present proposals to search other Dwemer ruins and probably come back here again to do further research. Per you know, with bodyguards and mercenaries hired to protect them instead of just me all the time. I feel like that might be a little bit better for them, and maybe they could uncover the other pieces of information from these relics. If not, they could, you know, have, I don't know, be able to gain a bunch of more artifacts from here and then look out for other ruins out there in the world. At least it would know, you know, what the soul gems are used for, and they could possibly deal with the constructs in the future in case they find another rune. That could be a thing. Maybe they could research how to, you know, disable the constructs before they get violent. But she wants to just kind of, she kind of got this selfish curiosity of wanting to discover runes, and hey, it's good that she wants to do it. But I feel like having a scholar title would help her in the long run. It would give her ability, it, you know, slow, it would definitely slow down her ability to find other runes, but it would not disable it. It would just be a lot more difficult for her to find them. I feel like we should probably go ahead and go with Rain with Raynor here. I feel like that will benefit both of them when they become scholars. What do you think? Kirith trusts you, so I do too. Just want to make sure that what do you want to do with the orb again, right? You want to be a scholar. We've been working to get recognized for years. Mm -hmm. Up until now, our discoveries have been curiosities, not important findings. Information on how the Dwemer use soul gems in their constructs, though? No one could ignore that kind of finding. Exactly. And see, they've been working for, to be recognized for years, they yet to be recognized. If they become recognized, and they become scholars, they can get private funding to go discover other dungeons in case Kira still wants to go on. You know, in case Kira is interested in that. I feel like he got the right idea here, so I'm gonna go with him. I do, don't I? Thank you, friend. Kirith and I will be able to force the Mage's Guild to accept us. For that matter, we could even go back to Shadastula if we wanted to. Could you talk to Kirith about this? I don't want to upset her. Ooh. So it's not of you not wanting to upset her, you make you ask me to upset her. Oh, uh, Kirith, I got bad news, girl, but it might be good for you in the long run. I don't know. You're right. This is going to work out. I love to go delving without a care, but Raynor can't stand it when everyone mocks him and doesn't take him seriously. I can understand it. 
Raynor deserves a little recognition. Oh, I love her already. Thank you, Kira. Thank you for not, you know, getting angry and upset with us. Raynor was right. He almost died in here. Hey, I had everything under control until... No, you're right. I don't have the best track record. I keep needing help. Maybe the Mages Guild will teach us how to be proper adventurers. Or Shadastula. We should be able to write our own ticket now. Yeah, there we go. I... Thank you, Kira. Thank you. I'm glad you didn't make me feel bad. It's like, how dare you? How... This is an amazing discovery and you're gonna take it away from me. You know, that would be... That would make me feel terrible. But thank you, Kira. Legit. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna let you work at it. I'm gonna go ahead and take an elevator and get out of here. Help Kirith and Reno explode the Zelf ruins. There we go. Ah, <sighs> the disagreement we had with the twins is finally over. Good. <laughs> we can continue on further then. But I'm so happy that Kirith didn't get angry with me. I probably would have, you know, not be happy about it either. Ah, <sighs> I know we set out to adventure and fight the storm, uh, the storm fist, and talk to a scout Snow Hunter. Let me see if we can go. Find Snow Hunter out here, actually. Since we are out in the zone and everything. Maybe we might be able to find Snow Hunter and then continue the quest line with him later on. But I think I'm gonna probably wrap up around here very soon and then we'll continue on in the next episode immediately with Snow Hunter. And continue to see what's going on here. Oh, there's a Snow Hunter. Hello there. Anything around the area? Or Calcum Ore. You don't find those things often. I realize that it's kind of difficult to find ore and materials around the game, which is really cool. It makes it realistic. Like, you actually gotta run around and explore for a little bit and keep your eyes peeled for these kind of things. You gotta check every nick and cranny and stuff. It's so cool. I love it. There might be some, like, guides out there how to find them easier, but from what I've been able to experience, just finding ore and materials and different plants and herbs and stuff, it's, you know, it's not easy. It's kind of a challenge. I mean, I just saw the mushrooms over here, but... Not every mushroom, you know, not every imsto is going to be under here, you know? And that's kind of cool. I like this game has this kind of like, still very Elder Scrolls-y feel about it. And I feel like the more and more updates happen to it, the more Elder scrolls -y this game feels compared to when it first came out. Honestly, this is a pretty good spin-off of an Elder Scrolls MMO. I really enjoy it. Nevertheless, guys, I'm going to get a hand right here. The next episode, we'll see if we can fight and finally defeat the Orc Thane. Uh, the brother of the Skyrim King, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, bring peace to Skyrim. And hopefully, if it lets us, move on to the Rift, and possibly visit Riften, because I would really, 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 really love to visit Riften. And maybe even see somebody from the Thieves Guild, maybe see the Church of Mara, stuff like that. Apparently this game has a marriage system, and I was wondering if maybe I could marry somebody out there to just get like the, ex <laughs> the experience bonus and all the bonuses that comes with it. I talked to my buddy, he was like, hey, uh, you have a character in ESO, but like, you don't have your character, <laughs> character in the same faction. How about you make a character, and then we get our characters married, so for the bonuses. I don't know. We got, I, we'll probably do something on livestream, but it'd be kind of cool to go through the, the whole marriage thing, just to see if we can get some bonuses. I believe I still have the items needed for the marriage. I believe I still have a scroll or something. It's somewhere around here, I don't remember where it's at anymore. But I believe I had a scroll of Mara, like a scroll of marriage or something. Pretty sure it was here somewhere. I don't know, I'll find it later on. But it's definitely somewhere in my inventory. I remember finding it before. I got Melvin and everything. Let's accidentally toss it out, then that'd be a problem. Nevertheless, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and right here. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Elder Scrolls Online. I know I say that too fast, but I try to practice it. <laughs> I say it so much at this point, it's engraved in my my head. Anyway, guys, see ya. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to Left Left Left. Hello, what have you got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts are the treasure thing that. <laughs> I kind of want to say you could dress better. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>